thanks for agreeing to be here. Hi, Brian. My pleasure. Given President Trump's historically low approval ratings, what specific steps are you and your colleagues taking to try to repair Trump's credibility? So, Brian, I think that's the usual hyperbolic uh, opening to one of the CNN segments. But let me tell you about the numbers that matter to Americans. The 1.5 million jobs created on his watch, the 54 record highs in the stock market closes, the consumer confidence level at a 17-year high, which means higher than both President George W. Bush and President Obama. But what 17 are you year, doing excuse me, about that's credibility. That, well, that is credibility to the people it's who are not. paying attention. Oh, it is. It is. Maybe not to see The American people are not giving him credit for the economic boom. Yes, they are. According to all of the polls. Yes, they are. It depends on how you ask the question. I mean, you have you have the the voice going through all of your your promos saying CNN the most trusted name in news. What evidence do you have of that? I've seen polling numbers to the contrary on that. You're yet talking you about CNN instead of President Trump. No, no, no. I'm happy to talk about President Trump. You interrupted me because I was going through what CNN refuses to cover about President Trump, which is the economic boon on his watch as president. The, the fact economy that is covered every day, Kellyanne. Kellyanne, no, that's like Brian, saying... that's not true. But you just want to argue like about saying, it. You don't that, like... You say, you say facts first, so I'm giving you the facts about the stock market. The one I appreciate that, but what created. I asked is about well, President Trump's really credibility and how the White House is repairing this credibility crisis. Do you have an that's answer to that it. question? Yeah, here, here's the deal. The credibility crisis exists on the other, in the other party now. I just cannot believe the bombshell that Donna Brazile has launched, where she says that she was dealing with three, quote, titanic egos, President Obama, You know, Hillary I stopped Clinton, taking Donna Brazile seriously when she lied Why? and when it was revealed that CNN fired her for giving debate questions to Hillary wow. Clinton. That's I'm not, not here to ask you about Donna Brazile. Very, excuse me, I think that's very unkind to Donna Brazile. She saw what we saw out there, which is a lack of enthusiasm for Hillary Clinton. She was worried, rightfully so, that the polls were wrong, including CNN's polling. I know you fired your I'm here, since. with all due respect, Kellyanne, to ask you about if you want to President talk about Trump, credibility, let's not talk Hillary about it. Clinton. I talk, Do your I internal talk polls about, also show him with about, historically low approval ratings? You don't. So you want to talk about approval ratings, and I'm telling you about the numbers that matter to Americans. Because Look, his approval piece, ratings are shockingly low. It's a problem not just for you and for me, but for the nation that this president is not trusted by the American people. No, that's wrong. You know it's a problem for How this is that nation. Wrong? that you refuse. CNN used to be a place where people can tune in and get the news all day long. Now they get spin in people's opinions. And I think CNN should own it. Brian, why not just say, look, it's in our commercial interest at CNN to be anti-Trump. We're profitable if we're against the president. Most of our viewers are against the president. Just own it. Don't you think that would be more credible for CNN than I pretending that, that you're straight down the middle? I understand that you don't want an adversarial media. You all, you, I guess no. you just want everybody to be like Fox News, media. state no, run that's media. Not true. Stop being so jealous of Fox News, Brian, and their ratings. <laughs> I think that would help if you drop the jealousy a little bit about Fox News. The fact is Let's put on that screen. we need a media. We need a media that covers the facts. The fact is, if consumer confidence is at a 17-year high. It's relevant to the forgotten man or forgotten woman. I agree, but Kelly, this Brazil is like a doctor walking in and ignored. saying. It's like a doctor walks in and says, you have cancer and it's spreading throughout your body. But the good news is your legs still work and your feet still work. It's great that I can walk, but I want to treat the cancer, Kellyanne. And that's why I'm I, asking you about his wow. historically low approval ratings. Well, I'm not going to buy into that awful analogy because I know many people suffering with um, terminal cancer right now. So I think it's a terrible analogy you just offered to the viewers. I want to tell you something about the president. He's on a historic trip to Asia. The country is watching that. They're listening to him directly and they get the news directly from him. I know there's a lot of arm. There's a lot of uh, hand wringing in the mainstream media that the country doesn't need you anymore to spin and filter what the president just said. They read his tweets when you read his tweets. It's a democratization of information. They don't sure. need you to tell. They don't need. They don't need you to tell them what the president just said. He's given a lot of press availability. Every time he's taking off from the South Lawn now, practically, he's talking to the press. I've been in the room several times last week when the president is answering questions to a live pool spray that have nothing yeah. to do with why they were there, like the cabinet meeting, the Ways and Means meeting the other day. There are many, there are many different uh, uh, actions by this president where he is very full and forthcoming, and he's answering these questions. I, I don't think that you can find a more transparent, more forthcoming uh, president in recent times that is engaging with the media and, and usually spontaneously. I mean, isn't that, isn't that refreshing? I think it's laudable that he's been taking questions 